Shaping the future of the military. A lot of work is going on in countries like the US, Russia, and China, but most of it is classified. Although the UK has a long history in laser and radio frequency work, the Dragonfire laser is at the forefront of innovation. The British Army and the Royal Navy are each interested in using the technology for air defense, specifically through retrofitting a 150 kilowatt class laser directed energy weapon on new Type 20 frigates. However, the development of the technology and its applications in defense are secretive. Yet, would you like to know more about the powerful capabilities and precision of this UK game-changing laser system? Join us to witness UK's laser that can destroy any hypersonic aircraft. Now, to laser in on the Dragonfire laser as it is a new military innovation. The UK military demonstrated a cutting-edge new high-power laser weapon which it claims can blast drones out of the sky with ultra-high precision. The UK began development on Dragonfire in 2017. The laser weapons were fitted on British military vehicles. The defense company Raytheon UK also announced the Ministry of Defense, or MOD for short, received and integrated the UK's first laser weapon system in October 2023. The weapon, dubbed the Dragonfire, passed its first field test conducted. The high-powered long-range laser weapon downed its first aerial drone on January 19, 2024 putting the futuristic device a major step closer to the battlefield. The high-energy weapon will be integrated into a Wolfhound military vehicle. The system offers a nearly infinite number of shots, precision accuracy, and very low collateral damage, making it an affordable alternative to traditional munitions. The 15-kilowatt laser, designed to stop aerial threats such as unmanned aerial vehicles, commonly known as drones, is the latest development in the MOD's Land Demonstrator Program. Raytheon UK was initially contracted to develop and install the laser system on the Wolfhound in 2021. The firm says it is building on the success of U.S. investment, where eight high-energy laser weapons have been delivered to the U.S. military. These systems have defeated more than 400 targets over 25,000 operational hours. The arrival of this transformative technology is an essential milestone in our collaboration with the MOD on using directed energy to address various threats. From drones and UAVs to more complex missile systems, this system is the culmination of decades of investment, research, and innovation, and its arrival reflects their continued commitment to helping fulfill a key strategic objective of the UK's integrated review. The system is described as compact and portable. It can be installed on a variety of platforms and connected to other air defense systems. With a deep, rechargeable magazine and minimal logistics, this laser weapon is an affordable and viable option to protect military and critical infrastructure and rapidly defeat threats. The delivery of the first system to the UK comes as Raytheon UK officially opens its new Advanced Laser Integration Center in Livingston, Scotland. Dragonfire is a laser-directed energy weapon, LDU for short, a system with pinpoint accuracy capable of delivering a high-power laser over long ranges with a precision equivalent of hitting a one-pound coin from a kilometer away. This type of cutting-edge weaponry has the potential to revolutionize the battle space by reducing the reliance on expensive ammunition while also lowering the risk of collateral damage. Firing the laser for 10 seconds has the cost equivalent of using a heater for just an hour. Typically, that's less than 10 pounds per shot. While the weapon's maximum range is still classified, the military said it can engage with any visible target. The high-energy laser weapon system has performed as designed in multiple field tests, including in difficult weather conditions, with extreme heat, cold, rain, sleet, and snow. The trials have taken a considerable step forward in realizing the potential opportunities and understanding the threats posed by directed energy weapons. Now we're going to dig into the development of laser weapons and the international interest they are garnering. Several countries, including the US, Germany, and Israel, are exploring the use of laser weapons to take out drones and missiles from the sky. Be sure to check out our video on Israel's laser weapon, the Iron Beam. The development of these weapons also comes as drones are finding increasing use in warfare, especially since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Putin's forces have increasingly used kamikaze suicide drones to take out targets in Ukrainian cities. At the same time, 
Ukraine has also relied on fleets of similar drones built by amateur engineers to attack invading Russian troops as well as targets within Russia. The kamikaze drones used by Russia are believed to be imported from Iran. They are both military weapons and psychological weapons. Attacks on major cities that are supposed to be well defended against aerial threats demonstrate that Russia can still inflict damage, whether military or civilian targets are struck. The successful testing of Dragonfire represents a significant milestone in the UK's defense capabilities and its contribution to modern military technology. Laser weapons have the potential to be a long-term, low-cost alternative to some tasks. They are missiles currently used to take out targets in the sky, with lower risk of collateral damage due to their precision. We're going to go into the components and specs of the Dragonfire laser. Laser weapons are a revolutionary technology because of the advantages of speed, flexibility, precision, and low cost per engagement, which are only possible with lasers. This directed energy weapon system can engage targets at the speed of light, using an intense beam of light to cut through the target, leading to structural failure or more impactful results if the warhead is targeted. At its most basic, laser is a light source. Consider an ordinary incandescent light bulb to understand how it can become a weapon. The bulb sends light waves out in every direction, like waves in water. These waves have peaks and troughs, or high and low points. There are also many frequencies or colors of light coming from a light bulb, and they all combine to create what looks like white light. Now think of a flashlight. Its beam is more focused than that of a naked light bulb. Most of its light travels in one direction, depending on where you point the flashlight. However, many frequencies of light still combine to create white light and the peaks and troughs of the different light waves pass by at different times. Laser is even more focused than a flashlight. It creates only one wavelength, or color, of light. The peaks and troughs from the light waves are also synchronized from peak to peak and trough to trough. This means that the different waves don't interfere with each other. This light travels only in one direction. The light beam can be tightly focused and remain so over great distances. Lasers can produce light of tremendous powers, 1,000 to 1 million times stronger than a typical light bulb. Various types of lasers can produce various wavelengths of light, from infrared range, through the visible wavelengths, to the ultraviolet range. Light is basically moving energy. A laser produces very intense energy that can travel over very long distances. That's why a laser system can become a weapon while the light from an incandescent bulb typically can't. To do this, a laser has to produce light in a non-conventional way. Laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. In other words, a laser produces light by stimulating the release of photons or light particles. While laser weaponry might sound like something from science fiction, the US Navy has already installed systems on several destroyers. However, missiles rather than lasers have been used to shoot down drones during the current conflict with Houthis in the Red Sea. Missiles can be far more expensive than the drones they destroy with some costing millions of pounds compared to a few thousand. How many different types of lasers are there? Well, keep following us as we break them down for you guys. The first, which is the practical laser beams for defense, can fall into one or two categories. Distributed gain, a series of slabs through which the energy is beamed serially, and spectrum beam, a combination of fiber lasers, similar to what one might see in fiber communications. Fiber lasers were developed originally for industrial cutting and welding. While there are various other ways to classify the components, some solid-state lasers have a lasing medium that is solid crystal, like the ruby laser or the neodymium YAG laser, which emits a 1.06 micrometer wavelength. Also, gas lasers have a lasing medium that is a gas or a combination of gases, such as helium neon laser or carbon dioxide laser, which emits 10.6 micrometer wavelengths infrared. Additionally, the excimer lasers have a lasing medium that combines reactive gases like chlorine or fluorine and inert gases like argon or krypton. The argon fluoride laser emits ultraviolet light of 193 nanometer wavelengths. The dye lasers have a lasing medium that is a fluorescent dye, such as rhodamine. They can be tuned to a variety of wavelengths within a certain range. The rhodamine 6G dye laser can be tuned from 570 to 650 nanometer wavelengths. 
However, the military is exploring carbon dioxide lasers because they are powerful infrared lasers that can be used to cut metal. The second category is high energy weapons, or directed energy, which is the larger category that can include lasers. It might also refer to RF and microwave sources used as weapons, which some refer to as electromagnetic weapons. These have been demonstrated for non-lethal use against people. Other examples of high-energy weapons can include sound-based weapons and theoretical particle beams. While there is an element of speculation in this field overall, some signs point to laser weapons becoming more practical. The advantages apply to standalone direct energy laser and weapon systems that combine DE and kinetic energy capabilities. DE operates as a force multiplier in these cases, enabling the warfighter to counter a growing range of emerging threats. DE weapons are characterized by very deep magazines, a modest cost per engagement, and the speed of light delivery. This means they are well suited to countering many inexpensive, highly maneuverable threats that might otherwise exhaust the magazines of their current defensive KE weapons. By using DE and KE weapons together, the warfighter will be able to neutralize emerging swarming threats while reserving our most capable kinetic weapons to defend against their adversaries' most significant and most hardened threats. DE weapon systems support multi-mission scenarios and can be readily augmented by communications functions, unprecedented intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance range, and precision. As we are winding down our deep dive into the Dragonfire laser, we need to discuss the importance of the laser systems to the UK and its military. Lasers and other directed energy weapons have many advantages over traditional kinetic weapons that use projectiles like bullets and missiles. The Dragonfire laser directed energy weapon system achieved the UK's first high power firing of a laser weapon against aerial targets during a trial at the MOD Hebrides range. The latest trial, delivered by DSTL and the Dragonfire partners MBDA, Leonardo, and Kinetic, builds on a series of highly successful trials, including the first static high-power laser firing of a sovereign UK capability, and a demonstration of the Dragonfire system's ability to track moving air and sea targets with very high accuracy at long range. Also, the UK Dragonfire collaboration brings together the best of the UK industry and leverages decades of weapon system manufacturing expertise to deliver enhanced layered air defense capabilities in the land and maritime domains. The Dragonfire weapon system is the result of a 100 million pound joint investment by industry and the UK Ministry of Defense. Together, the companies involved support highly skilled UK jobs in new cutting edge technologies that deliver a significant step change in the UK's capability in LDU systems. In addition, the Dragonfire partners and DSTL have demonstrated exceptional UK capability in laser-directed energy weapons. The Dragonfire system has been successfully proven to date, and we are now closer than ever to having a unique weapon that will enable frontline commands to meet the rapidly changing threats they face. However, the UK Dragonfire remains a great example of how a partnership-based UK enterprise approach can be successfully applied to a major national research and technology challenge. While working on the project, Leonardo is drawing on decades of laser technology heritage at the Edinburgh site. The Beam Director technology delivers ultra-precise tracking, pointing accuracy, and stability at long range while handling high-power laser energy passing through it. It has successfully tested the system against a representative aerial target at varying ranges, altitudes, and speeds, supporting the first UK high-energy laser firing against aerial targets across its operational field of regard. Similarly, achieving the UK's first high-power weapon firing against aerial targets at the kinetic-managed Mod Hebrides range is a significant milestone. The world-leading science and technology capabilities have been applied to the continued development of the advanced coherent beam combining technology, which is delivering enhanced performance and scalability, as well as collaborating with industry partners and DSTL to support developing, testing, and evaluating this sovereign capability. Moreover, Dragonfire is cutting-edge laser technology that revolutionizes how the UK military operates on the battlefield. The Dragonfire laser is a powerfully directed energy weapon that can engage various targets with precision and accuracy. Its advanced tracking system allows for quick and seamless target acquisition, making it a formidable force on the battlefield, 
With its long-range capabilities, the Dragonfire laser can engage threats from afar, keeping our troops safe and secure. But do you think the Dragonfire technology is highly effective, cost-efficient, and environmentally friendly, making it a sustainable option for the future as claimed? Do you think that lasers are the next go-to weapons for advanced countries and militaries? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know your thoughts. Thank you for joining us for this exciting unveiling. Please subscribe to our channel for more updates on this groundbreaking technology.